Welcome to this video where we're going to find out if I remember how to use a DSLR for a video. Did you get any cubes for Christmas and what were they? Uh, the only cubes I got were pictures in the Guinness Book of World Records. What are your thoughts on US Nationals 2016 being held in Portland, Oregon? Uh, thoughts are good. Um, Portland it seems pretty cool. What are your thoughts on US Nationals not having feet? I can understand definitely why competitions would not want to have feet. Um, some people think it's very gross on the timers and so they want to have separate timers. And being that you'd have a fewer number of separate timers for feet, it could take a long time. But for a national championships, I believe they should have it just to give everybody that does every event a fair chance. And it's kind of disappointing, but I'm not really upset about it. Why is there a shadow of three of you on the wall? Because there is a window right there and a light over there. And so d different shadows come in from different places and the light from the window isn't really enough to block out the shadows from the light and vice versa, I guess. Some people ordered one month ago and their order isn't even shipped yet. I don't order from Cubes for Speed, but if I was in the US, I would order from them. This question brings up a cool new thing they put out on their website, which was a 2015 holiday shipping schedule. It shows that about 90% of their orders were shipped within 24 hours, and 98% were shipped within 48 hours. You should really take a look at the whole page. It's actually pretty cool, because if I order, you know, in the middle of a of the bit least busy week of the year uh, from other cube stores, it always, always, always takes over a week for them just to ship out the product. I don't know if this is due to low staff or just them f forgetting that I ordered something, but it's so nice to have Cubes for Speed just get your package out to the mail so quickly because, you know, once they get it to the post office, it, the shipping speed is no longer up to the Cube store. So where Cubes for Speed really stands out is how fast they get it to the post office. Have you been practicing for Minnesota? Actually, no, not at all. Um, I did a square one average of five a couple days ago, so I guess that could be practice for Minnesota, but I believe he is referring to uh, multi-blind, and uh, I signed up for multiple blindfolded and, and not regular blindfolded because I like multi-blind better, but I, I haven't really been working on it, so I don't think I'm going to end up being able to compete. Who will be the next person, other than Felix, to get a sub-5 single in competition? Well, I think the guy who got the 441, I think his ban just got lifted at the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong, but I think it just ended, so he could definitely be possible at getting a sub-5, but realistically, I think Jabba Sean's going to have a big comeback this year. What do you average on score one at home? Pretty slow and not very consistent, like 30 to 40 seconds. Where was your first cubing competition? My first cubing competition was in Minneapolis, Minnesota on Chicago Avenue South. South Chicago Avenue? I don't know. Uh, it was a Cube Etcher 2011. It was a pretty cool competition. It's $18 for a movie ticket in New York City. I thought $8 was expensive and that is quite a lot. How do you judge which competitions you want to go to? Is it on which is closest? Um, kind of. I just go to all the ones that are close to me. Um, and then deciding on which competitions I like want to go to that aren't close, I really just depends on events and who's going to be there. What are your thoughts on trends? What are those? John Cena, D's Nuts, etc. I'm kind of undecided on these. You know, if people want to do these quite often, it doesn't really bother me, you know? This is a good saying, live and let live. I, I don't personally take part in these trends, but if other people want to, they they can. The last trend I took part of was the uh, Harlem Shake. You, you can look that up, it was pretty good. Do you normally buy from Costco, rate their pizza out of 10? Well, they actually have two different styles of pizza. They have a take and bake pizza, and a pizza that you can buy there. The take and bake pizza, um, you could get a five meat pizza for only nine dollars. That's I believe an 18 inch. And then the pizzas that they cook there, you can either get sausage or pepperoni on your pizza or cheese and then a mixture of vegetables and stuff. 
and those are $9.95 for an 18 inch pizza so it's a very good value for their pizza you know least expensive per 18 inch pizza I've ever seen and it also tastes pretty good because of their incredible value I'm gonna rate it $9.95 out of 10 so that is it for this week I hope I sounded all right because there's a new microphone on the camera and that's also the reason I can use this camera I hope it isn't too close or something because um, the lens doesn't it, it's different than shooting on the other camera so it has to be at a different length but uh also gonna try and get a new lens so it's not so close I don't know if it really looks too close or not but I guess we'll have to see thank you for watching goodbye